keep driving here back with some first looks for the next little while this morning two to be exact um did you mean living room tv alexa stop let's mute alexa right yeah the first one we're going to be looking at is uh bulwark and falconer chronicles uh, this is a demo uh, but it's an evolving demo of a game that's been worked on uh, by Thomas Sala, published by Wire Productions. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to Lurkit for the game key for the demo, which I appreciate it. Uh, as always, it doesn't affect any of the opinions I expressed during this video since they are my own. Uh, we're going to be building without limits in Boulevard. It's a 3D sandbox set in an organic open world that acts as a canvas for your chaotic creativity. Allowing us to build across sheer cliffs and vast oceans. Um, as I say, it's, it, this is the demo which you can download from Steam. And he will be changing the demo as he's developing the game so you can get feedback on it. So let's load this up. Give it a look. Uh, we shall just go with the standard there. see how we get on okay well that wasn't oh there we go okay welcome to Google a game about chaotic creativity no conventional controls one person to paint the landscape another to move about and while you paint towers and walls people will start to make the world come alive keep building that's the trick this can, can be confusing, confusing at first, overwhelming even, but don't, don't worry, worry, there's also no mistakes. That's a nice little intro from the developer. Uh, let me just check the settings first here. Uh, I think the sound level is actually okay. Official quality is up as max. Okay, I, no, but we don't want this. I don't. Do, do, do. Where's my one? There. <coughs> 50 hertz? No. 60. Okay. Um, controls. Let's just do a quick look in here. So these are build command icons. We've got harbor, tower, unbuildable. We've got different resources, workers, wood, stone, iron, a commander, and an encounter. Switch between ground and severe space, okay. Are we going to remember that, do you think? Let me just uh, do something here. Oh, wrong thing. Try again. Let me just shove this over to the other screen. In case I need it. Right. Um, I'll just leave that as it is. Right, let's hit the start. This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building set. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce, and an ever expanding set of encounters, world events, and unlockables. Okay, so let's go for the first one. I like the. I like how it's showing you the world there. Maybe these are not unlocked yet or done. Right. A word of advice click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes, and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting, so don't be afraid to just go wild. Okay, our tutorial's on, we have unlimited extractors, and we're going to be starting a new haven. Big game. <coughs> Finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. 
I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. Use the middlemost button uh, or the R re re keys to rotate the camera around the selected building. X and Z. Can I use the mouse wheel? I can. And I can do that. Oh, I like the graphics. Connect this outpost to the wood mill, which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Without wood, we cannot build. Use the mouse to move your cursor. Oh, okay. Move the cursor towards the wood mill in the shallow water until it snaps. Then right mouse button. Okay. So we're doing that. Notice how workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Wherever you build and our workers can reach, they will settle. Let's now focus on the wood mill. And move the cursor to the nearby wood mill. Press left mouse button to select it. Okay. So if I go there, okay, left click. This is your wood mill. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. Very smart the way it's set up. Right, extend the build line with the mouse until a circle is displayed, then press right mouse button. Build a basic wooden tower. So can we build it up there? What's the resource floor? Ah, okay, so six. It's generating six food. It's putting it up to the... Okay. You just built a basic tower. It is used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. Hey, there's a lot of houses. So I was going to look at this. Yeah, so the wood's going up to there. We've got four workers, it looks like, resources there. Oh, we're building seven wood now, okay. Generating seven wood. Uh, we need back to the wood mill. Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill. But this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the wood mill. Build more connecting towers and walkways from the wood mill. From, yeah. So, like, I can build something there. Good work. The woodmill is now delivering wood further than before, so we can move on. Across from the woodmill, we also built a stone quarry. Let's connect that to our settlement. There's a stone quarry over here, look. Let's zoom out a bit. I like the zeppelin thing, airship flying about. Um. Now, now we have, have access, access to the quarry, quarry our wooden towers, towers can be upgraded, upgraded to stone. I was just going to focus on the quarry works similarly to your wood mill. It produces stone that can travel a limited number of walkways. Well, it is like a quarry, isn't it? I should build a tower here. Upgrade. So if I go, if I go to there, and upgrade. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower, 
in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Okay. Oh, it's upgrade this tower down here. There's this tower. Is that it there? Select your outpost, so we can start expanding it further. We just select our outpost. This was our outpost, wasn't it? Outpost can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stage. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the worker output. Add a foundation to your outpost. Extend the build line slowly until a square icons are displayed. Okay. Like that. Can I just... Boom. The worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. Okay, so there's our new houses down below. Build more connecting towers and walkways to the outpost. Inspect the worker floor. Got a bit of tower there. All towers allow for foundations, wood, stone, and later command towers. Command towers also allow for battlements. Okay, fly in your surveyor. Develop in the command tower. Explore. Yeah, well, it is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. Search the surveyor spacebar. Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help to get you out of trouble, which is never far on the Earth Sea. Can I? I'm just going to change something here. I'm going to increase the voice level. Lower the music a wee bit. Oh, I probably didn't save that, did I? No. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Find an iron resource on one of the small islands nearby. Left mouse button to command you to fly towards it. Will we head over? Use M to see where the resources the are. The map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Right, we need to head over here. Well, that one's closer. Is this the iron? No. Right. I need to turn to the right and we'll head for this one. Your surveyor can yeah. build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Mine will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. So I need to build... Harvest must be built in deep water close to the shore, but built, bound building when your cursor changes to an anchor, yeah. Several captains are now available. Each captain hauls specific resources. For this trade route, iron is required, but wood is also recommended to expand the mines later.
I bet everybody was getting that echo there. <laughs> I didn't have my headphones plugged in. Am I awake this morning or not? Hey, let's assign a captain. A uh, ship is outfitted to handle iron ore. This route isn't profitable for me without that cargo. Okay. Do we need to assign? We don't need to assign them all, do we? Ah, right. Do we need another captain? My ship only carries wooden workers. All right, we don't want that. Okay, so he does iron. Okay, so we're we should be okay to go with it. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. Yeah. Sorry if there was an echo. I'll have to play that back and see what it's like later. Uh, right, I want to build a harbour. Could build it there, I guess. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Okay, let's go back to ground point. We can start building defensive structures such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. Okay, are we getting the iron? Is that a boat coming over? Yeah, it is. Look. <laughs> Here comes the boat. I just skip down here to see the boat coming in. There it goes, look. A lot of little details like the boys and everything. The barn. Right, um, we need to select our outpost. Uh, it's up here. I don't want to build anything. I just want to select it. There we go. <coughs> I upgrade it to sit down. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's a big fancy building. Major resources now at our disposal. Let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Okay, so we need to upgrade a basic or stone tower to a command tower. Uh, we'll do. We had a tower middle way, didn't we? Is that not the tower? Right, if we do it again. Mighty there. command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height only being dependent on the level of access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. <coughs> Use my person right button to add more floors when the tower is selected again. <laughs> Can we keep going? 
Oh, I didn't mean to build a platform. I just built a platform. No. Something different came up over there on the menu. I was just wondering what it said. So we just build it to the tallest pos possible. Change the floor you are building from. Lower floors build foundations, while higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. Oh yeah, look, we accidentally built built that there. <laughs> Press F to move down the tower floors needed to build foundations. Command tower foundations are strong battlements that support your tower. Okay, build four foundations from your command tower. Okay, so if I do Slightly extend the line until you see a triangle or square. Okay, like that. Okay. What does that do? Does that... That built that out the way. Okay. Whoa. Can I just go this way so I can see what I'm doing? Press R to move up higher floors need to build balconies. Are built from high floors. The more expansive your tower, the more powerful your commanders will become if they are assigned here. This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warbird commander among our retinue. Let's assign them to this command. How do we assign? Hold the left mouse button. Okay, now we've got different lists. We've travelled to this place together. The fate of my warbirds and falconeers lie here with you. No finer stable since the heydays of the War of the Tree. But we will protect you and your people. Okay, let's just assign him. New forces are ready nearby. Fly up to their command tower. For them to join our battle group. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Earth. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. Quite interesting little game then. Uh, so can we we can go here, can we? Buildings on the horizon. Let's go and explore. I'll have to see what was over here. Oh, he's got the bird falling on them. Hey, uh, what's this? I can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. I wonder what this building is. No, look at it. It's got a question mark on it. Let's build a dock. Oh, 
that's he's carrying stone, nothing else, wooden workers, nothing else. Well, we need another captain, don't we? Let's just put him. Do we need a dock over this side for you? Probably do, don't we? This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Nice. I can't select you. I need to build you. Are we just too far away? <laughs> you cannot build here. There is no tower. Yeah, no, there's not. Wood nearby. Connect my tower within range to a wood mill. We have a tower here. Let me. Can we build? Oh, we can't build out this far. We're gonna have to go to here, aren't we? And then we're going to have to not manage out here. So is my dock too far away? Maybe I should build a dock there. We're just going to sign him. Right. Um, okay, you have upgraded. Look at all the, the bridges. That just appeared. I didn't build that. And they appeared. There is no iron available for this Is there not? Why not? I guess we're waiting on iron to come. Um can I get back to this tower? Let's build up to here somewhere. Looks like a wall defensively built right round. Right, let's upgrade this one. And everything else slowly gets upgraded round about it. There is no stone available for this upgrade. No stone. Let's try and get back over here. How much stone do we have? We have got stone coming. You can actually see people walking along there. I love the architecture on the buildings. This is great, that. Close. Very clever. And um, upgrade that bit. Here's our wood place. Let's try and upgrade it. Can we upgrade it? No? Maybe not. Let's um Maybe if we built a tower somewhere. Like there. And then we could build some platforms.
can upgrade you. Or I could build a little platform right there. Yeah, I like that. Right, um, I'm just doing a quick first look this morning. Um, this this is a demo, evolving demo, so the he's constantly updating the demo to show the new things he's going to be having in the main game once it's released. So, um, yeah, I quite like that. Let me see that. I shall revisit that. And then... Um, let's see, let's see what new things appear in it. Um. Just, I really like the buildings. <laughs> Very smart. But it was a nice tutorial as well. Uh, we can hire people, enemies to defend against exploits, to, resources to exploit. These are not intended to challenge you, but to make your creation feel part of a living world. So yeah, no. Ulvark from Thomas Sala. Very nice.